We're in California, guys. We got off the plane yesterday, and it wasn't a pleasant plane ride, okay? But we got through it, right? It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Compared but we... to some, it wasn't that bad. Oh, yeah, last year was but terrible. We Emily a... got sick, man. Yeah, it was just a really long layover, and it was, it was a really long day. It The whole thing took, like, 12 hours, and then getting back to the house, and then all of that, so it was, like, 13, 14 hours of travel. So it took a little bit, but we're here. We are here. Now we're heading over to Pot of Gold, which is located in Pleasant Hill, California. Now we've been there before, we went last year. I actually bought the Legacy Falcon from there and we didn't really buy vintage Star Wars stuff at the time. So this time we're, you know, focused on vintage Star Wars. So we're hopefully gonna see a lot of vintage Star Wars stuff there. And I do remember seeing some stuff there. So hopefully they got some good stuff in stock. Let's hope we find Ewok stuff, guys. Ewok stuff. Definitely need some Ewok stuff for Ewok M. So we're gonna drop this food off right here to my mom. And we're gonna head over to Pleasant Hill because right now we are in Vallejo, California. So yeah, it's about a 20, 30 minute drive. So we will see you guys at Pot of Gold. All right guys, we are pulling into Pot of Gold. We missed the turn like twice technically because last year we missed the turn. This year we missed the turn again, but that's okay. But this right here is Pot of Gold guys. So we're gonna go inside, see if it's okay to film and See what Star Wars stuff is here. All right, guys, we are here at Pot of Gold. And as you can see right behind me, there's a lot of vintage Star Wars and they have some ships hanging up on the ceiling and they have booths over on the other side as well that also might have some vintage Star Wars. So we're gonna do a little walk through in here, see what we find. So we got some ships hanging off the ceiling here at Pot of Gold. It's always cool to see these displayed off the ceiling. We got the gunship right there. My buddy Cash is looking for one of those. And we have Jabba's sail barge right here, which is really awesome. That thing is massive. I've never seen that in person. Now they do carry other stuff here, guys. So if you're interested in any of this kind of stuff as far as Power of the Force 2 and Revenge of the Sith, Episode 2, and, you know, the Black Series and all that kind of stuff and the other vintage collection, they have it all. Now... Here we are. We got some vintage Star Wars right here in this display case, and these are in the box. Now, that's really cool. I want that because I just want the box, but we have that, but not the box. And we have the Desert Sail right here. I might end up getting this. The Desert Sail skiff. Really been thinking about that just to put in the uh, Jabba collection. But this is definitely rare, and I might have to come back to get this because, yeah... You walk in, manage to find some stuff, but she said we will see, so we'll see if she does get it. So we'll do a haul at the end of this video here. But let's check out some of these vintage figures in here. I see EV99 in there that's headless and missing an arm, I think. But man, check this out. They got some Ewok cartoon figures in here and some droid series figures in here. So yeah, that kind of blew my mind. Now, a lot of these other loose figures in here, they're in pretty good shape, but they definitely have some good carded figures. And, oh, I see a Ewok watch right there. We got the Max Rebo band. We got Low Gray. He doesn't have a staff. They got, like, two or three sets of the Max Rebo band. I'm kind of confused here, but that's pretty neat. Now, that right there is the TIE Bomber. Now, that is a good little find. I'm not going to get this, but that is definitely a rare little find right there. It's one of the die-cast TIE Bombers from the 80s. That's pretty cool. 400 bucks, man. Well, technically, plus the tax, but, you know. And we got some original figures that are on their card backs down here. It's kind of hard to see in there, but you can see what's there on the side. And, yeah, you can see those prices as well. Now, they definitely have some good stuff here. I mean, it's a good little collection in this store. Pot of Gold definitely has good inventory as far as vintage Star Wars. Now, they got other stuff, like I was saying. And there's more vintage stuff right here on this wall on the top. And, oh, that's the Ewok Battle Wagon in the box. Wow. You don't ever see that in the wild. And there's another shelf right here, another display case. It's got some stuff in there. Land of the Jawas. And we got this prototype 
Jumbo Boba Fett. Dude, that's really cool. It's got the, the rocket that comes out of them. We got the Power of the Force 2 figures here, like I was saying earlier. Some of the Black Series stuff right here along the back wall. And they also have some helmets here. And just other miscellaneous stuff down here on this back shelf here. So, you never know what you're going to find digging through all this stuff. So, it's kind of a mixture of different things. And overall, the store is very well organized. And they got this set up in the middle. You got the C-3PO case and the Darth Vader cases. Now, I saw this and thought it was really neat. Check this out, guys. It's an electric guitar. It's got Boba Fett on there. You don't see that every day. That's pretty cool. And then down here, they have Yoda. Let me... There we go. That's sick. I literally just noticed what this was. And you guys that collect vintage Star Wars, you know what that is right there that we're looking at. They want two fifty for that, but that is it's in really good condition. That is in really good condition. That's crazy. I might have to get that Ewok watch in there for Emily. Ewok M. Ewok M. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that for you. Make my way around the store and kind of see what's here. They, I mean, they carry a lot of other stuff. So they got like GI Joe and Transformers and. A lot of other different collections, but I got the Naboo ship right there, right behind me. That's pretty neat. So, you walk treehouse. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's pretty neat. And then they got a lot of different uh, kid toys here too for just the kids. So that's really cool. But yeah, let's go over to the to the booth side. Let's see. So in here there's other there's a lot of Hot Wheels. So if you're watching this Mark, which is my brother, there you go. But there's more vintage Star Wars right here in the back. So we'll definitely go that way. See? Now, I actually found my removable MC 3 po that was still sealed in a Kenner bag. I actually found that here, and I actually found it in this display case right here. So, I do remember that. I did find that here, which is really cool. So, this booth has some good stuff in here. We got some retro figures. Oh, that's pretty neat. That's crazy. Some Burger King cups right in the back. A couple of figures right there. I believe they've been graded. Got cards in there as well. Got the Chewbacca back there. Missing his bow, but he's got his uh his belt. Got some loose figures in here. There's definitely another display case right behind me that has a lot more vintage Star Wars. So Definitely make our way over there and see what's over there. And pretty much everything over here is Hot Wheels. And then they got some book bags and stuff over here. Which is really cool. That's a cool bag. Should probably get that for while I'm traveling. Kind of overwhelmed. There's so much stuff here. Oh, they got a brown snake Yoda right there in the back. On the card. Still on the card back. Of course, you got the famous Lando back there. Alright, so I'm making my way to where the other vintage Star Wars stuff is. There's more cars wrapping around in this little section further back in the room. And they got some Legos over there. More car stuff. But let's take a peek. A lot of carded figures in here. Tebu carded for fifty bucks, and then they got a bunch of carded twelve-inch figures too. Uh, 
kind of hard to see. The figures are behind a lot of those. Looks like they're just, oh, it's all doubles. So it's the same figure that's behind those mm -hmm. that are on their card backs. And oh my God, look at all of these guys. That is insane. Man, that's original Darth Vader with the box. That's crazy. Is that, the, is that the Palatoy? No, that's not the Palatoy one. I was about to freak out. <laughs> Ewok Catapult, that's pretty cool. Another Ewok Treehouse. Spark 3. And we got the uh, Chewbacca Bandolier. For your action figures. Y-Wing in the box right there, that's pretty cool. I've always liked the uh, Rebel Transport box for some reason. I don't know why, I just think the box itself looks really neat. Got the B-Wing back there as well, so that's pretty cool. My friend Adam actually has that with the box back at home. But yeah, these are in their boxes. That's really neat. Really love the fact that they have those, because a lot of the times we see these, they're always loose. All right, guys. Ewok in managed to find a couple of finds. I did not get anything because, well, I'm not being picky. I'm just looking for certain things. They have some things in there that I am looking for. There's a lot of it, but I'm just kind of taking it easy right now. We're going to go check out another store that's close by and see what happens there. But we're also going to come back. Come back. And yeah, we're going to do one more run here because, I mean, we only come once a year. So, well, and y'all know if we can come and then somebody brings a whole lot this afternoon and come back tomorrow and it might be totally different. It, you you never know. So That's how the game goes. Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're going to see, guys. So, yeah, that was Pot of Gold. So, let's move over to, what is it called? I don't know. We'll Re uh, Revenge something. We'll, we'll tell you in a second, but it's uh, another collectible toy store that's like 30 minutes out from where we are right now. There are a lot of loose action figures that go with the Droid series, and they had that mini rig from the Droid series. And I know, Charlie, if you're watching this, I should have went and bought that. Trust me, I'm thinking about it. It's in the back of my head right now. It really is. So, I mean, it's got the box with it. Can't really beat that, you know? But yeah, that was pretty fun. They got some good stuff in there. I totally forgot to tell you guys, while we were in Pot of Gold, Emily looked down and there was a little flyer on the counter. There's actually gonna be a toy show here in California. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go. Pot of Gold's gonna be there. And yeah, right, it's, it just randomly happened. We did not plan that. So yeah, look forward for that video to come out while we're here. Pretty excited about that. So Google lied and it, we went in where it said to go and the building is not there. Like the store is not there. So we're kind of like wandering around because now Jupus is saying it's somewhere different. So you're, we're trying to find it. Yeah, so. I don't know, it might be behind, there was more buildings behind here. Yeah. But the place is called Revenge of the Collector. Wait, Revenge of Collectibles. Revenge of Collectibles, so. Was it Revenge of the Collectibles? No, it's Revenge of Collect, no, yeah, Revenge of the Collectibles, something like that, but we're trying to find it, so. We're just walking around right Of the, now. of the Collectibles. Okay, so, Revenge of the Collectibles, all right. So hopefully we can find this place. I don't know, but it is very sunny here in California, so. There's a reason it's called Sunny California. Oh yeah, but yeah. Tried to go to Revenge of the Collectibles. As y'all saw in the footage, Alex and I walked around Fairfield, downtown Fairfield. Um, y'all, we went to the building and there's no sign on it. When you walk by, it had another sign in one of the doorways that talks about something enclosed and I looked it up it was not the place. So when we, we didn't find it, but I looked online and I looked at the picture and where it shows like where it actually is online, it's not there. We walked past it three times, it was empty. Also though, if you look, they do have an online webpage and on their webpage, it's all WWE figures um, and then some stickers. So I don't think we missed out on much, sadly, but I also don't think it exists anymore. So. If y'all come and y'all find it, comment down below and just tell us we're a bunch of idiots. At Pot of Gold, I told y'all I found Ewok stuff, and boy, did I. So, 
before we talk about what these are, I want to tell you a little story. The place closed so I can talk about it. Alex and I went to Myrtle Beach on one of the toy hunts. You guys got to see it. While we were there, there was an antique type store going out of business, but they also sold a bunch of different kinds of collectibles. It was like this big like warehouse kind of building. We went there. They were going out of business. He was there selling stuff for someone else. And they had that Burger King cup that had the Ewoks on it, and he wouldn't get it out the case for me. They had one of the things we're about to find, and he wouldn't get it out the case for me. And then he had the Ewok glider, but he was willing to get that out of the case, but it was, the tape was still sealed. So he wanted like $300 for it, which is a thing in and of itself. So I wasn't able to get it, but my Ewok friends were with me because, guys, I got Nisa. I got me an Nisa bank. So I got a Nisa bank. The box is a little smushed. But that's okay because it's the box. It's it's not the toy. Um, it's got a cute little picture of Wicket swinging in. And then on the back, it shows both Nisa and Wicket, both of them that you get. So I was able to get Nisa, but I also got the Wicket. And I just think it's so funny if y'all look at the box. It's always Wicket the Ewok. And then Princess Nisa. But everything is Wicket the Ewok. Wicket the Ewok. Wicket the Ewok. It's just cute. I also, so if y'all remember when we were at the Star Wars store, I got the little Wicket soap that smelled like baby powder but looked like chocolate. Well, I got him a buddy. And it is a shampoo bottle. It's empty, very light. There's nothing in here. 15 bucks for Wicket. So I've just decided I'm going to have a whole little bath set with my soap, my shampoo, and then the toothbrush tree that I have. And I can't wait to see what more kind of cosmetic things we can find. And the last thing I got, guys, so I love watches. I wear watches all the time. I'm not going to wear this one. But they had the Return of the Jedi Ewok watch. And I got it. It's 20 bucks, which is such a fair price. It doesn't work, but that's okay. I'm sure if I were to put a battery in it, it would. But even then, why would I do that? It's for a display. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to mess it up. But I got an Ewok watch. Yes. So, Alex didn't find anything, but I did. Hey. And this is what we got. So, We'll be in California for another week and a half or so. There's going to be more content coming out. So we're going to take y'all to a place that we've been before last year when we came. We checked it out. It's called the Bat Cave. And associated with the Bat Cave is also a place called Ivy's Hideout. They're like, I think, 20 or 30 minutes from each other. But they both sell vintage Star Wars. So Alex and I are going to go there later this week. And y'all will get to see that video probably this coming Saturday. And then after that, we're going to the toy show. We get to go to a toy show in California, guys. Oh my gosh. It's supposed to be three buildings. It's at a high school, but three buildings full of collectibles and things. And guys, who knows what we're going to find? Alex might be able to find the early bird stand. We might be able to find a pop-up R2-D2. Who knows? But guys, y'all are going to have to keep watching to see what we find. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.